Hey guys, it's Theresa Shea from Fly Fierce Fab, and in today's video, I'm doing a makeup tutorial on this look. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, girl, what are you doing? Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so you never miss another new video from me, and hit the notification bell as well so you're the first to know when I upload a new video. And this tutorial is inspired by the Scott Barnes and Tati um, YouTube tutorial that went up a while back. If you're not familiar with Scott Barnes, he is a celebrity makeup artist. Um, he is, I think, best known for doing like JLo's makeup and giving her the JLo glow. Um, I love Scott Barnes. Fun fact, like years ago when I first got into makeup, he had come out with a book which is this one right here called About Face. Um, I can't remember how old I was when I got this, but I know I was a teenager. I was so excited about it because I loved his work, got the book, and I also have his second book as an ebook. Anyway, my point is I love Scott Barnes's work, um, his style of makeup. I think it's very um, glowy and beautiful. So I was really, really excited when I saw his tutorial pop up on YouTube with Tati over on her channel. And I have watched that tutorial so many times. Um, so he calls his look snatural. Um, it's snatched, but natural. In Scott's tutorial over on Tati's channel, they definitely heavily focused on the face makeup and like um, chest and body makeup. Not so much the eyes. Even though they did do the eyes as well, I feel like the majority of the video really focused on the face so that is why my tutorial today will be focusing on the face as well. I guess we could also call this a Fenty face tutorial because I'm using a lot of Fenty beauty products. I use Fenty foundations, the concealer, the new bronzer, um, the setting powder, my um, my liquid lip is from Fenty so Fenty face as well and I'm also trying out a bunch of new products in this tutorial as well that you guys have never seen me use on my channel before so this is gonna be fun. <laughs> I'm in a rush, I'm trying a bunch of new things. Let's hope this all works out well for my photo shoot, but that is enough chit chat. Let's get into this video. Okay, so getting started, I'm going to do my brows first. Now, when Scott did the tutorial with Tati, he did not do brows first, he did face makeup first, but for me, this way is easier. Again, I'm trying out some of his techniques, incorporating it into my usual routine, and seeing how things turn out. So basically what I did was I applied some of the Becca Mattifying Primer to my brows just to help the product that I'm gonna apply there last longer. I'm using this product by Fab Brows, and basically it's like a brow powder duo. Um, this was gifted to me by P. Louise a while back, but I really, really like like this um, I'm using the darker shade it's sweat proof it's waterproof I've been loving it I've been using it instead of dip brow and my brow pencil lately now I'm priming my face now in his tutorial Scott also did not prime he said that he doesn't use primer um, <laughs> girl I need primer anytime I've tried to do my makeup without it it just doesn't last as long so I applied the Becca mattifying primer on my t-zone and on the rest of my face I used a sample of the milk makeup hydro grip primer and if you follow me on Instagram you know I've been raving about this stuff I actually got the full size version today during the Sephora um, VIB sale. I love it. Um, I can definitely tell a difference when I use another primer. Um, basically, this primer really helps my makeup apply smoothly. It helps it last longer and it just looks really great. So I'm going to set my primers with the Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder in the shade Nutmeg. I had a photo shoot this day, so I wanted to set my primer just to help my makeup last longer, make sure I didn't get oily because we were going to be outside. But that's a little trick that I do just to help with that. So now I'm going in and I'm correcting underneath my eyes. I'm using the P. Louise base in the shade 5. Now, basically in Scott's tutorial, he showed that he does the highlight and contour underneath like the foundation, um, and that's like a big part of the whole natural look. So the concealer that I'm using to highlight is the Fenty Beauty Concealer in the shade 360. Um, the reason why I use the P. Louise base under this to sort of correct is because I find with the Fenty Beauty Concealer that it doesn't really cover my dark circles as well as I'd like. Like I definitely have to build it up a bit um, and I find that it just looks better when I use a corrector underneath it. A tip for success with this concealer is that I find it works a lot better when I really let it dry down quite a bit before I blend it out, um, then I get the amount of coverage that I would like. But in terms of the finish, in person it's beautiful, it photographs beautifully, I just find it needs to be built up a bit to help cover dark circles. Now to go in with the contour, um, so with a darker shade, I'm using the shade Carob from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I'm applying that to my cheekbones and to my jawline, just with like a flat foundation brush I think that's some real techniques I know it looks really dark and really red but we're gonna blend this out really really well and I'm just blending it in circular motions with a morphe brush so the key here with everything is really blending things out well 
So I'm using two shades of the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Um, first, I'm going in with the shade 385. Now, in Scott's tutorial, he showed that he uses two shades of foundation, a lighter shade over the areas that he has um, applied like the lighter concealer to, and then a darker shade over the rest of the face, and especially where the contour, the darker shade, has come into play. So I'm using the shade 385 in the lighter sections of my face, so underneath my eyes, my forehead, down my nose, the chin, all of those areas where we just applied the concealer, that's where we're going to apply the lighter foundation shade and I'm really just patting that in. I'm just blending it out with a patting motion and I did go ahead and get this shade as well at the um, Sephora VIB sale. Now, for the rest of my face, I'm using the shade 390. So this is like my winter spring shade. So if I were gonna do my makeup on a regular day and just use one foundation shade, I would be using 390 all over my face because that is my all over um, foundation shade in the Fenty. In the summertime, I'm like 420, but right now I am 390. And I'm applying that to the rest of my face and I'm making sure that I really blend it out where those two foundations meet. Again, I'm using a padding motion, I believe that's one of the Instapop brushes by Real Techniques. And as you can see, I'm looking in the mirror, things are really starting to come together. At this point, I was really seeing a difference. So going forward, if I have a special occasion or a photo shoot, this whole natural thing, <laughs> this is gonna be the wave. This will be how I'll be doing my makeup. It is a lot for like just everyday stuff though. So this will be for special occasions. Um, and then I'm just going in and I'm setting those highlighted areas. Um, I don't recall him really baking in that tutorial, but I did because that just works well for me and to do that I'm using the Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder. I got this from Ulta and I know it looks really light but it actually doesn't give me any flashback. Um, I haven't had any issues with it and I like the finish that it gives. So I'm just sweeping that away with the foundation brushes that I used earlier. I'm making sure I grab the right brush for the right area and just wiping that away. As I go along in my makeup routine, I do spray my face with a Morphe um, setting mist just to help um, everything melt down nicely. Now, in his tutorial, Scott used a cream blush and he applied it with a stippling brush. I don't have cream blush, girl, so what I did was I grabbed my Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette. Fun fact, I found that for $5 in Marshalls. And I'm applying the shade that I showed you guys to my cheeks. Then I'm going in to like set my face all over. Again, I'm grabbing the Fenty Beauty Loose Setting Powder in Nutmeg. I'm really liking this, guys. This has been my go-to setting powder for all over my face. Um, it just gives everything a nice blurred effect and it looks really nice in pictures. So I'm very, very happy with this powder. I'm glad I tried it out. And then, now to go in and add some warmth to my face, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I'm using it in the shade Coco Naughty. I feel like it doesn't look as dramatic right now in this video simply because I had used that really dark shade to contour and I'm just kind of using this in those same areas. But if this were a day where I had not used um, that um, shade in the Anastasia kit to contour and I had just applied the Fenty Beauty Bronzer for warmth, you would definitely still be able to see it. Um, I definitely liked this shade better than Mocha Mommy for me right now. Mocha, Mocha Mommy was a lot darker and more red. So maybe in the summertime that shade would work for me, but for now, Coco Naughty is definitely my shade. I'm just cleaning up that line um, along my cheekbone just to make everything look sharper. I'm using the Derma Blend powder again. I'm wiping away the excess powder with my foundation brush, going over it real quick again with the Fenty Beauty loose powder. So now again, just to help all of the powders melt down, I use the MAC Fix Plus Spray in Gold Light. That's the one with the little like gold sparkles. And then I'm going in with like my shimmer highlight. So I'm using the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the shade Cinnamon. And I'm applying that to my cheekbones, my nose, um, above my brows, a little bit on my cupid's bow on my chin. I like to blend that out with my Morphe makeup sponge. This is literally my favorite makeup sponge, like, ever. And I was feeling cute. <laughs> Hello. And now I'm going in with the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder in Conceited. I really like how this pairs with the Fenty Beauty um, matchstick, specifically in cinnamon. I sprayed my brush, and I'm using this thick fan brush. I think this is the Morphe E33. 
In um, Scott's tutorial with Tati, he showed that he uses a thicker fan brush. He sort of mixes together a few highlighters and then he applies it to the face. Now I had bought this brush a long time ago. I had used it to apply highlight. And then I saw in a lot of tutorials, y'all were using those like real cute, smaller um, highlighting brushes. So I tried that, but I definitely do like how it looked and applied with this, with this thicker fan brush. So I think I'll go back to this for a bit. I went over that with a little bit more of the Fenty Beauty highlighter. The, um, I think it's called the Diamond Bomb. It came out like last fall, I want to say. I'm just adding some finishing touches now, um, some mascara. I always set my T-zone with Max Blot Powder because I'm an oily girl and this just helps keep my oils under control. I'm lining my lips with Max um, Lip Liner in Chestnut. And then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty um, Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unbutton. This is my favorite matte nude lipstick ever. <laughs> it lasts for a good long time. I'm just touching up my smile line areas to make sure everything's smooth. I think I was jamming to Beyonce Homecoming. I filmed this video the day that it dropped, so I was I was jamming. So now I'm going in with my glosses. I'm using See Through from MAC. Um, I really like this nude look combination. This has been one of my favorites. And then just to add a little bit of shimmer, I'm going in with the Roller Girl Dazzle Glass, also by MAC. Now in Scott's tutorial, he showed that he applied it with like an outward motion, which is why I'm applying it like this, but for me, it didn't necessarily make a huge difference. Last but not least, I applied the Fenty Beauty Body Lava. Um, in Scott's tutorial, he also showed that how he applies like body shimmer. He mixed together a few highlighters to use a sunscreen. I just wanted to use my body lava. I tried applying it with a brush because I've seen a few people do it that way. Personally, I prefer to apply it with my hands. And that is it, guys. We are snatural. Okay guys, that's how I got this look. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Um, also let me know if you checked out Scott's tutorial over on Tati's channel, what you thought, what some of your favorite tips were, all that good stuff. You can catch me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I am FlyFreezeFab on all those platforms. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell. Stay snatched and I'll see you next time.